June of 2011, Tumblr went through a major redesign that simplified its user interface and eliminated some of its features entirely. In this video tutorial, I'll be going through some of these changes. Where you once managed your blogs entirely from the menus on the right-hand side of the dashboard, this part of the screen is now submenu for the section you selected from the top menu. The dashboard submenu now contains links to only the social features of Tumblr. Here you can edit who you follow and see which posts you've liked. Next to the dashboard link in the top menu, you'll have links to your blogs. In this case, I've only got one, and it's my name. Click on this link, and you can see all of this blog's posts. The blog submenu on the right has links to the blog itself, the customized screen, and various other links to this blog's followers, posts, and messages. The customized link is now found under your blog submenu, and the new customized screen has had a lot of options taken out of it. You can still change your blog's name, theme, and add pages here, but Tumblr has completely removed all Twitter and RSS feed imports. According to an email I received from Tumblr support, they're looking at maybe adding Twitter importation back in, but I wouldn't hold my breath. A lot of people have been asking where you can change your profile photo, now that the option is no longer in Customize. You'll find that option here in Settings in your blog submenu. Keep in mind that this is a different Settings button from the one at the top. That one is just for your account settings. The blog settings screen contains nearly all of the options that were taken out of Customize. In addition to your profile picture, there's settings for replies, questions, submissions, and sending your Tumblr post out to Facebook and Twitter. The biggest new feature in this redesign is the new Unified Inbox, which you can access from the top menu. All questions and submissions from any of your blogs appear here. You also have the option of sending a private reply to any question by clicking Answer Privately. This will send the message without publishing to your blog. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links.